It's for, it's for on farm, it's on farm, so it needs legislation doesn't matter in this tanker. <laughs> Don't start with that, I'll get rooted out of it. So we spoke about this tanker earlier on when it was down in SA1 and we said we'd give you a wee follow-up. So this is the follow-up. So here we have NC tanker for uh, the back of a Bell NET. So looks a wee bit strange on the single axle. Disregard that, that's just for us moving it around the factory. But this is a 4,400 gallon tank for the back of a, a Bell articulated unit. Now this machine's going to South Africa. It doesn't look anything special, but it comes with its own set of challenges, as in we don't have the, the vehicle here to fit it on. We don't have, you know, we don't know exactly how it's going to be shipped and moved about. So it uh, has had its own set of challenges. Four and a half thousand gallon tanker, hydraulic drive, 13 and a half thousand uh, litre vacuum pump on the front, along with an uh, auto fill arm on the side, ladder on the, on the top to reach the top access hatch, and then the controls are in the box here down at the bottom. Uh, the chassis mounts are all made to suit the Bell NET and then there's a rear splash plate on the back. So as I said, it's actually I said 100 inch domes in this. This is a special build and uh, that's a 100 inch dome. I have, was wrong and I have to correct myself. They're 98 inch domes. I was corrected by someone in our drawing office. So they're 98 inch domes in this tank. At the minute, the, the ladder for access to the top fill hatch, it's, it's inside uh, getting ready for this machine to ship. But as you can see, standard enough looking tank, your sight glass on the front, your silencer, your, your top uh, valves and stuff. But as I say, it's a special build. It's going to South Africa. It's working with engineers in other countries, talking back and forth, getting the information that's required to build the chassis to the specifications they want. So this is one of the many products that we specialize in and we take pride in building. It's still got the same chassis underneath. It has a wee bit more uh, strengtheners up around the side uh, because of the way the weight is going to be distributed onto the bottom chassis of the, of the truck. But in regards to welding, it's a variation of a tanker. You know, it's still a tanker. Yes, there's no axle in it. Uh, there's no drawbar in it. But you still have your mountain plates around the front for where your drawbar would go. You still have your, your main chassis rails coming up along the tank to give you the this, this strength and stability along the side. So again, it's just it's fabrication. The design's there, the parts are there, the guys put it all together, and they, they weld it up, and it's tried and tested technology. Not in this application, but the tank itself and how it works is tried and tested. The, the, big, the big challenge was we were dealing with a consultant who was dealing with the, the end user. Uh, the big challenge was the chassis on the, the machine, on the NET. So we don't have it here to measure all the points and everything there, so it was getting the actual chassis. Now we're lucky enough that uh, the engineer that was involved with, Matthew, he got speaking to one of the Bell dealers and he got a step file for the chassis on the, the NET. So he would be able to import that into the SolidWorks and then build the tanker around that using the hard points, like the hinge points at the rear as one of the mounting points. And then at the front, there's a there's a plate with uh, four bolts each side to clamp down over the chassis at the front. So even to get those, the position of those and the load of them, then looking at also the centre of gravity of the tanker. Where's the centre of gravity of the tanker in relation to the truck? Where it needs to be in the truck? So there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, calculations required and positional points that need to be bang on to keep the load safe and secure when it's when it's moving. South Africa has been a market we've we've done stuff to in the past. We've sent a few dumpers and dump trailers to South Africa, but again, it could be word of mouth. It could be a, an expat that's working out there. They could have seen it on one of our many media uh, videos. We've had um, guys on from Australia about our tip and tanker, looking for a variation on the tip and tanker. The same as the, the hook load tanks from we brought it out on our social media that we have been inundated with hook load uh, tank orders. I think we've done. We've done 15 this year, and I think we have an order for 20 coming in in the not too distant future. So with the power of multimedia and the world being such a small place, it's opening up our business to many, many more people. There is, there's always trepidation with a, a product like this here that you're going to send it out. Will it fit, won't it fit? But the engineers have been liaising with the, the people that they needed to uh, liaise with, and we have all, every faith in our engineers and their capabilities of what they can do, and providing the information we receive is correct. It should all go together swimmingly. Hey, needless to say, if it doesn't fit, we'll, we'll find out very, very quickly. 
So as I've said before, you know, we are an engineer company and we have engineering solutions. Of late, we've been getting a lot of uh, specials coming in. So if you have an idea and you want to speak to one of us, you know, uh, contact our sales reps, uh, contact our engineering department, and we'll have a look and look at the feasibility of it to see whether it's something we can fit into our, our very busy schedule.